The U.S. presidential election is on November 6th, and excitement is building in key states where voters could determine the outcome if the race is close. VOA's Chris Simpkins reports from the southern state of North Carolina, where the contest between President Barack Obama and his Republican challenger Mitt Romney is too close to call. It's also where African Americans are turning out for early voting. We voted! Early voting is underway in North Carolina, and for African-American voters like Walter Gilmore, there's a sense of urgency. I'm just worried in general for jobs. How, you know, so many people in North Carolina are unemployed and trying to get people back to work instead of shipping jobs overseas. A record turnout among African-Americans helped Barack Obama narrowly win the state four years ago. In the presidential contest this time, the Republican Mitt Romney seems to have the edge, but it's close. North Carolinians are divided on who they want to lead the country. These college students are voting for the first time. What won North Carolina was the early African American vote, especially the college students. We have a big influence. We need every vote. We need every vote. So encourage them to come and do one stop. Alma Adams knows firsthand how important it is for Democrats to get African Americans to the polls. She served in North Carolina's legislature for more than 18 years. She says turnout among blacks so far is impressive. Now that says to me that people really want to get involved in this process and they understand the urgency of it. And that is so, so critical. Adams is popular here because she supports quality education, jobs, and increasing the state's minimum wage. We need to be trying to find ways to get people back to work, get good jobs for people, good benefits. Hey, how are you? I'm Olga Wright. I'm running for office once again. Okay. Republican Party candidate Olga Wright is challenging Adams for her seat in the state legislature. She's one of only a few African-American Republicans running for office here. She promotes popular ideas like improving education and helping at-risk families. Wright says convincing Democrats to support her is an uphill battle. I separate myself from the political um, divisiveness that propels everything. You know, people won't look at me because I'm registered Republican. Party doesn't matter. And remember Alma Adams. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Good to see you. On the campaign trail, Adams tells constituents <laughs> she will fight against budget cuts to programs that matter to her community. We've got one or two things to do. Run for office and try to help make a difference there. Or, or control those people who are elected to serve you. Adams and other community leaders say the fact that more African Americans are involved in the political process is a hopeful sign. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Greensboro, North Carolina. We are growing our Facebook fans and we appreciate your support. If you have not joined the conversation yet, go to our Facebook page, click like, read our stories and share your thoughts. The address facebook.com slash VOA in focus.